hello and welcome to Katrina's Creations. I am up in the yarn cave. This is a requested video. I ask you all for advice of what you would like to see this Wednesday. And someone replied that they would like to see how I store my craft show supplies, but also what my yarn stash looked like and how I had it organized. So I did one of these videos, oh, probably about a year ago, but I have sold a lot of the yarn. Um, I'm actually getting ready to sell more in the next week or so. So stay tuned because there's more coming. Um, but I've also reorganized. I'm using the same storage system, but I'm reorganized a little bit just to try to really see what I've got. So that being said, let's get started. So I did have a viewer ask how I store my craft fair supplies and this is them right here. They're in the garage. Um, I use these baskets and this over here, right here, this is a fold up drying rack, but I use it to hang um, like shawls and things off of. Um, right now, just ignore the mailboxes. Um, but I use these two Rubbermaid tubs um, since I am storing them in the garage. Um, inside there are the actual um, cloth bags. I'll open this up so you can see it. These are the actual cloth bags that I store them in, but in the off season and when I'm not doing craft sales, I just put them in here and that way they're they're kept protected from dust and any like if we if we got mice or anything, we don't have mice, but if we did, that keeps them safe from getting anything into them or any bugs or moths or anything like that. So that is how I store my craft fair supplies. I have reorganized this shelf a little bit, just changed it out seasonally. This is the yarn I keep down um, on the first floor of our house, and I do change it depending on what projects I'm working in, working on. So these are sweater quantities of yarns that are cottons and things um, for summer projects, like for summer t-shirts and things like that. And then this basket here. This is all sock yarn. This is just um, like uh, project bags and a diamond painting that I did. These are yarns. They're not sweater quantities, but they are like for shawls. This is a shawl I'm going to be making at some point. Um, so they're for projects, but they're not large enough for sweaters. This is also sweater quantity yarns that are in here that are more summer weight. So I have two two containers here and here of summer weight, sweater weight um, projects. And then, like I said, this is for um, smaller projects like shawls and things. And then down here, these are like, well, this is a table runner, which I need to put on the table and just haven't. This is like mini skeins and things, little leftovers. So these are that's what's stuffed into here. It's just odds and ends or one skein yarn, things like that. So that is what that shelf looks like. So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is the craft cave that I jokingly call. And you may be wondering why, aside from the big bag of yarn there that's going downstairs, some of that's going for sale, some of it is going to be going for some other items. Um, and yes, we will be having a yarn sale coming up probably next week sometime. But anyway, this is our spare bedroom upstairs. Now, it's called the Craft Cave because over here, and I will not open it, but the closet there is where I keep my blocking boards. Well, I'll open it. You can see the chaos. There it is. That is all like doily weight yarns. And that's the blocking boards. That's some empty bags and a bedspread. And that is a bunch of gift wrap that I never use. But here is why it is called the craft cave. We have a bunch of books here. 
all of the books along here are knitting and cro they're knitting on this side, crochet on that side, and then individual patterns there. And then these three bins have yarn, and I will tell you what all of those are. And then this cabinet here, and I do have all of the doors open so you can see it, that is all yarn. Yes, I know, it's an addiction. So let's get started. First thing, I have one of the viewers, Demetra, who does a lot in show and tell, a few years ago made me this. Uh, these are buttons that she actually made herself. They're out of wood, they have a live edge to them. And I have been saving them for a special project. Um, I can't show you the yarn because it's buried in the back of there. But anyway, it is some chocolate brown wool that I am going to make a sweater with. And I think those will be the perfect accent pieces. So let's get started. I have Shirley the sheep buried back here. There's Shirley the sheep. She's um, sheep to shawl. She's knitting right off of her own body. So, yeah, there it is. I do have a pattern out for her, and she did win a prize, if you can see that. She did win a prize at the fair. But anyway, that's Shirley the sheep. So, in this bin, this is all 100% wool that is in here. And this is luxury, they're luxury yarns that I only have a few skeins left. And I do have a lot of this white, but it goes to another sweater, so I just set it in, aside from here. But these are like luxury yarns that I have leftovers of. And then the bottom one, which I'm not going to open because it'll probably explode, but the bottom one here is leftovers that are acrylic yarn leftovers from product, projects, or ones I only have one skein of, so that's what I put down there. So we'll get started here, and there's more sheep. Yes, I like my sheep. So, and there's little sheep up there. We have lots of sheep. So this is acrylic yarn that I have more than one skein of, or I have a good bit of to do something with a substantial project. So this is, this is all acrylic. There's some shawl in a ball back there. There's some Just My Stripe. There's some mandala. There's a couple things of mandala. And then down here, these are all sweater quantities of um, shawl in a cake, which is also the same thing as shawl in a ball, but there's also some yarn bee here from Hobby Lobby. So the yarns that are in here are also sweater quantity. And down here, these are also acrylic where I have more than one skein. So some of it is Brava yarn that's, you know, the chunky yarn. Um, some of it are some other weight of yarns, but they're ones that I have more than just one skein of. And then the bottom down here, this is all cotton yarns. Um, so some of them there are sweater quantities, some of them they're not, but that's all my cotton yarn. Then we have here, these are some knit crate yarns. Uh, actually, a lot of these are knit crate yarns. So um, there's those. And these are ones I don't have a sweater's quantity, but I have more than, more than just two skeins of. And then we have down here where I have just one skein. These are also luxury yarns that I have limited numbers, but I haven't gotten into them. That other bin that has luxury yarn in it is ones that are leftovers from projects. These are ones that have not been used for anything. And then there's sweater quantities here. And down here are... I'm not sure what. I think those are just some leftover yarns as well. I have a lot of leftover yarns that I need to figure out what to do with. So again, this is all Knit Crate yarn. Some of it I will combine because when Knit Crate was in business, they sold skeins in um, two skeins at a time, and there was usually a pattern. And what can you do with just two skeins of yarn other than make hats and scarves or small shawls? So a lot of it I set aside, and I'm trying to combine it with some other yarns to make something a little more substantial. Um, but once I'm finding I can't really combine with anything, those are ones I'm getting up for sale. These are sweater quantities of yarn, as are the rest of these. And like I said, majority of these are all knit crate yarns. 
which might eventually go up for sale. <laughs> then the last bunch over here, this is actually 100% wool. I need to stick that in the other bin. These are still some more Knit Crate yarns and ones I bought when we were on vacation and things. These are Hobium yarns back here. I have lots of this blue and lots of this purple, which I might sell because I made something out of them. And this is like the leftovers. I had an overabundance of it. And then again, we have more. I don't know that I necessarily have sweater quantities of these yarns, but there's enough to combine different colors like these. I can combine a couple different colors together and make something. So those are what's there. And then these are sweated, sweater quantities. And this was one that was very high in demand with Knit Crate. This was called Titmouse. And it's got silk in it. And I have a good bit of it. And then there is more yarn down here. And I think... I think that chocolate yarn I was talking about is in the back in here. So that is my yarn stash currently, but I keep going through it and weeding it down a little bit at a time. And there's probably more weeding to go yet. So look for an upcoming yarn sale in the next week or so. So I hope you've enjoyed this video of my yarn stash and my storage. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please click that little red subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss the yarn sale in a week or so. So I will see you again on Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.